There are many reasons to get excited about putting on a VR headset. Taking to the skies as a mighty superhero or wandering through an apocalyptic wasteland, killing zombies with your best good boy, for example. Hell, even fishing in an idyllic setting or cooking up a storm in a demanding fast food restaurant can fulfill otherwise unachievable fantasies. Within the boundless possibilities available through the wonders of VR, it's never occurred to me that I might want to don my escapo goggles to roleplay as a mid-level bureaucrat. Could it be possible that BorderBots has found a way to make professional purgatory a viable recreational pursuit? Go stand over in that queue, and I'll have the answer to you within five to seven working days. BorderBots sees the player in body the first human to re-enter a previously automated workforce to help regulate an influx of erratically behaving robots. There is enough of a narrative set up to justify why you've been granted the honor of manning the robotic equivalent of a customs booth, but it is rudimentary at best. Nonetheless, the plot unfolds as you progress through your career, offering occasional narrative devices that will have you navigating hostile colleagues and mechanical mobsters along the way. In between workdays, players retire to an apartment with uh, various interactive components and housebots with which to engage. These sections are doubtlessly designed to add character and depth to the game, similar to those found in the fantastic Star Tenders. However, BorderBots' implementation of these activities misses the mark, as there is just little reason to engage with them. Sadly, in the end they prove to be utterly pointless. In fact, after about an hour or so, the story and home settings become less of a vague distraction and settle into annoyance. There are a few minutes of mandatory time wasting between the levels that separate you from playing the game. Dialogue scenes are unskippable, which compounds the frustration, and eventually, the well-intentioned world building that the developers set out to deliver just ends up distracting from the core gaming experience. The core gameplay loop of BorderBots sits somewhere between a time management and a job sim style game. Each day the player returns to work to find a lineup of robots trying to enter the city. Your job is to check that they are eligible for entry by checking several criteria before dutifully stamping their documents. Initially you will just be checking simple things like the expiry date on their passport or their designated robo class. But as you progress further, the checks become more numerous and time-consuming. From removing counterfeit badges and testing for fire resistance to searching for contraband hidden in secret compartments, there is a broad range of ways for rascally robots to evade detection. New requirements are continuously added and rules will change every day, keeping you on your toes and keeping the gameplay relatively fresh. By the time you hit about day 15 of your career, there is so much going on that trying to move quickly requires some fervent concentration. For gamers who enjoy games like Traffic Jam, Star Tenders, or Job Simulator, there is some good, clean, casual fun to be had with Border Bots, particularly when played in smaller doses. Where Border Bots really trips over itself is in some fundamental design choices that effectively rob the game of tension and create strangely apt art imitates life scenarios. Seven minutes are allotted to each level, during which the player attempts to correctly process as many bots as possible. Points are rewarded for correct assessments and compounded for streaks of accurate work. At the end of each day, a score is determined and a place on that level's leaderboard is assigned. But herein lies the game's undoing. After several hours in the game, I have yet to find any way to return to these missions to either check on my place on the leaderboard or try the level again to compete for a high score. What this does is effectively remove any impetus for you to work swiftly. Work fast, achieve great results, who cares? Without the chance of meaningful recognition for being successful, I quickly found myself going through the motions riding out the clock until my shift was done, pedantically luxuriating over every detail with no care for how that impacted my queue of patiently waiting robots. In fact, soon enough, I actually felt like a jaded frontline bureaucrat, effectively becoming what we call in the UK a job's worth. And what reward awaited me at the end of my day's toil? Token appreciation before returning to my small apartment with nothing exciting to do but take a nap shower, 
and then go back and do it all again the next day. I'm sorry, but even with cute mechanics and zany bots, a few hours of this cycle had me walking right up to the edge of a virtual midlife crisis. Border Bots is a bright, colorful affair that uses a vibrant, cartoonish style that is an excellent match for the game's tone. The art direction and overall design of the game world are thankfully clear and distinct, a necessity for the attention to detail required for the gameplay. The futuristic cityscape that adorns the game is compelling, despite being purely window dressing. The audio is solid, offering a satisfactory range of beeps and bloops to sell the futuristic setting. The voice work is well delivered, with a tone and delivery akin to a Saturday morning cartoon. This all works well in the context of the game's character, and despite not offering anything exceptional, the game's audio-visual components are resoundingly adequate. Borderbots is a unique twist on the job sim slash time management genre that offers a casual, fun for the whole family kind of experience. From a technical standpoint, Borderbots achieves what it sets out to do, delivering a light-hearted gamification of frontline bureaucracy. However, despite a variety of novel mechanics that do their best to add some frivolity into the proceedings, the reality is that even in a colorful, wacky, robot-filled setting, being a low-level civil servant is just not that much fun. 6. Mundane If you enjoy the channel, and would like to stay up to date with all the news, reviews, and one time we did an interview, click the subscribe button now. And if you would like to press the like button and validate my menial existence as a civil servant, please do so. Thank <laughs> you. 